Hi guys, my name is Spitfire and I'm here to show you how to play the deck in the most efficient way. Firstly, I will be collecting wood and gathering some materials and building some simple house because everyone needs it when he wants to start a successful game without cheating. But later on I can show you which machines, machines you should use first and what you should do later. Also I will show you for example unlimited source of energy, but for now I need to gather some wood, create some tools and start building some house. So let's chop down this tree and I'm actually quite happy that I'm in this biome because well I already saw and heard a cow and that's good source of the food but firstly let's get some wood. Then I will probably dig a hole, get some a cobblestone and create some cobblestone tools, mainly X, because in this mode you have a tree capacitator, which actually means that when you hit the bottom of the trunk, the whole tree will fall down. So let's dig a hole. I don't want to waste a lot of wood on wooden tools, so I actually always make only some pickaxe and get some cobblestone and create already cobblestone tools because they are faster and better. Mm. But, I, but I actually don't want to waste the wooden pickaxe, so I will later use it as well. So let's get some cobblestone. I'll probably collect some more because you never know actually. I want to also create some other tools than pickaxe and axe, for example sword and shovel. So I will gather some more around 10 or 15. Okay, right, now I have another cobblestone so I can create some, some new tools. So, let's create some sword, now we need some more sticks, so let's create a few of those. Also need to source my st stuff out because, well, when I have some new tools I need place to put them in a quick slot and that then I have to sort all the things that I have already there. So, here we go to access, brilliant. Let's also take the crafting table, why not? So, as you can see, it takes longer time to chop down the bottom of the chunk, but you will actually get all the wood and also samplings that are located on a tree. And it will always take durability from your eggs for each block that the tree has. So, black sun. let's take down some more trees and I will show you a little trick how to cut down many trees at once. The basic idea is that when you connect them with a, tr with a trunk, they will all fall down because they are the same types of wood and when they are connected to them, game responds to them as one tree when you are chopping them down. So as you can see, I chopped down one and both of them dropped. But it will not work if you connect, for example, birch tree and oak tree mm -hmm. because they have different types of wood and they can be connected together by this. Also, this is the rubber tree. I want to just show you how it works so you can be sure that it doesn't work that way. And here's also some birch. Just to let you know, we don't really need the rubber tree or anything from it, but actually uh, the rubber tree drops can be used as a supplement for slime so it's actually not really bad but they are not as useful as they used to be when you needed them for creating macerator and many other things you should always also be careful that your axe has enough of durability and you have to also take down the, the trunk that is connected to the whole tree well why because otherwise it will just take down take down one piece of wood like this just to let you know. Okay, so if this tree is just disconnected, we have to connect it back. And now when you chop down this piece of tree, all the tree oak trees that are connected by the oak wood will fall down too. As you can see right now. Okay. Well, let's chop down this rubber tree too. And 
go get some rubber that can be used as supplement for slime when we need sticky pistons. So let's connect some more trees to this, but as you can see you have to take care about the durability of your eggs because later on I will connect too many trees together and you will see that actually it will not work that successfully because the eggs will broke and some pieces of wood will be flying in the air, some won't be even touched. Generally, just to let you know, this is not a bug, this is just a little trick that you can use. While you are, for example, on a server, I don't think that somebody will blame you for something, because it still uses the same durability, and it still takes a longer time to chop down the chunk of a tree, so depending on how many logs are connected to it. So, I don't think it's actually some sort of bug, and I personally use it all the time. Well, right now you can see that I connected too many trees together and which results in the fact that my eggs were broke but the trees won't fall down all. So now, as you can see, my eggs broke, but the trees didn't fall down. Which could be quite a problem when this happened, because when you are cutting down, for example, jungle trees, well, you will have forever just hanging piece of wood in the air. Which totally sucks when you look at it. I actually can see some cows, so I probably will slay them for some meat, but cutting down the trees is actually quite good because you can get some apples from them if they are oak trees. It's actually quite lucky from the start to cut down oak trees and also the jungle trees. From jungle trees you have much more wood from one cutting down, for cutting down one tree than from the oak wood, but oak wood also gives you lots of apples. So you can have them as supplement for one or two days if you cut down another wood. Or till you find something better to eat. Well, I'm actually gonna kill those two cows sooner or later because I will need that meat. And why not? There is enough of them. I'll keep two alive so they can uh, reproduce. Or I can later breed them if I will want to. Let's take also these eggs because they can be quite useful later. We never know what we will want to cook or create. But for now, that's enough. Let's. F I can see a jungle tree, which is actually quite great. Let's chop that one down because from one tree you can have approximately around 40 to 60 pieces of wood, which is actually quite a lot. I think that if I cut down this tree, I will get probably another wood than that I need and it will be approximately I think third that I collected till now which is actually quite a lot. Also I will probably set up my base near here because I'm close to four biomes if you didn't notice on the small weather. I'm really close to forest, high plains, jungle forest and also the desert. I will actually need desert and you will probably too because you need lots of sand for supplying one machine that you will have and you will probably use it a lot and when I mean a lot, I mean really a lot well, you will see later so, let's continue let's gather all this wood and find some place to live I probably think I will sit down in the forest well, because it's a nice biome I don't really like the sands, I don't really like the jungle because there are lots of grass everywhere and well, I actually gonna chop down this one oak because from oak trees you have lots of apples, and if they are big like this one, it will chop down the whole tree and you will get lots of wood also. So 
let's continue. And I don't want to be on high plains because there are mountaineers and I don't really like that. I want to be like when I open my door, I can be in the middle of jungle. And of course, as you can see, I received 44 pieces of wood, which is actually quite good. Well, let's set up my base here. And as I was saying, well, let's cut on these trees. Uh, as I was saying, I want to create my base somewhere where I can open the doors and be happy that I'm having a house in such a nice place, even though I will probably cut down all the trees around. But, well, food keep them because, you know, zombies and, sp and any creatures can spawn and live under them and survive actually. So I don't want to come out at the, in the morning and see like 20 skeletons waiting under a tree outside of my house. So I'm gonna probably chop down all the trees. As you could notice, the night is coming, so I will probably start creating my base, putting down the crafting bench to create some more axes, getting some more cobblestone because, well, I don't have enough of them, and I'm gonna actually create a waypoint to my base. It will be light blue because that's one of my favorite colors, and that's actually everything I need for now. Well. Let's create some cobblestone tools, but as well, I don't have enough of cobblestone, so I'm gonna create a shovel and dig this dirt and get some more cobblestone. I want to also apologize for the first video because it's in really, really low quality. Well, because I accidentally turned on the worst quality on the frames. Sorry for that. The next one, after like 30 minutes, that means in the next video in the middle, it should approx approximately, it should turn into really high quality, so you can watch it, watch it on your skin screen in full HD. Well, that's enough of cobblestone for now. Let's also create some furnace. Uh, just to let you know, I'm playing on hard because it's bigger fun. Oh my spider, get up, get up. Uh, also to let you know, if you jump, you actually deal critical damage most of the time. So it's actually quite efficient to do, because you kill everything quicker. Let's create some furnace and let's use this for creating another axe that we can cut down the street with. And I will put down the furnace and get the wood cooking so we can get some charcoal. I will be cooking the jungle wood because there's lots of it and it's easy to get. And also, I don't really like the color of the jungle wood planks, so I won't use them probably enough that much. Only like for sticks and this. Also, to let you know, you can connect two things of the same type together and it will add their durabilities. But uh, don't do that when they're enchanted because their enchantments would be lost, probably. So, don't do that. So, let's flatten this area so I can at least create some walls. And the roof will be probably from cobblestone, so we can wait with that one. But firstly, we need to create some walls really to protect ourselves. So, let's dig out this dirt and we can start putting them down. Let's also get this charcoal and create some torches to torch this place up. Well, what? Um, okay. That was weird. Well, let's create some sticks and now we can create some torches. We can torch this place up so nothing can spawn over here or at least not that close to our base. So, let's put this down. That's probably enough. I will actually create just a small circle because I'm starting and I will probably just build walls and go the Oh, skeleton, 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 skeleton. Okay, there you go, you sucker. You're dead now. Oh, spider. Not, not the spider. Oh, wait, what? Well, that's strange. Kill the spider. I actually want the spider to kill the skeleton because it's easier to kill the spider than the skeleton, actually. Oh, I can hear a zombie. I should probably back off and... Well, I'm quite happy at least that the spider distracted it enough that it doesn't care about me anymore. So let's build our walls before it comes to get us. 
Okay, so let's process this. All good and create some balls. Um, God damn it. Two times misclicked. What a luck. Okay, so let's continue. Okay. That floating birch is nice over there, but I will probably cut it down in a few seconds. I also want this to have like in a corner of the room, so I will probably do it like this and fill these gaps. Okay, and now let's just continue, and this is probably enough. Now let's try to connect it with the other side, so it will somehow fit. Okay, so I put this here, 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 and we'll actually have to shape it like that side, so let's do this, okay, there we go, let's cut down these two pieces because they aren't supposed to be there, and continue building our walls. So we have to take down this tree because it's in our way and it would be actually quite hard to put the second layer down because you wouldn't be able to pass through it unless you would break the leaves so oh this shouldn't be here okay so let's just continue and hope nothing will to us I hope actually that I have enough of wood but I should have I collected actually a lot of it so let's hope we do Let's put this here and this, okay. So now I will probably go and build a third layer, but first I have to torch this place up so nothing will spawn here. And now I can safely continue over here. And hi Creeper. Oh shit, actually he can pass through there because even though it's too bold high, He's one gold higher, so let's try to kill. No, doesn't work. Okay, so let's just let us. Oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Oh shit, die. Okay, it's dead. Phew. I was worried that it would blow up our wall. It would be actually quite bad. So let's firstly done this part and then let's continue next. Oh, I can use spider. I hope he's not going to see me. Well, he is actually coming for me. Well, oh shit. Well, great. Let's try to kill him. How could he hit me through a wall? For God's sake. I guess it was because of the corner. I'm gonna take his eye. Take that spider. Well, I'm not gonna do the roof right now because I don't really need that and I will not probably spend too much time inside of the house right now. I will go mining and when I will get gather some cobblestone and we will have enough of that, we can build the roof. Then we don't need it right now. Okay. So I'm gonna have a little dinner and see you in the next part.